Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to start the Appalachian Trail uh, class of 2023 and I thought I would do an update video of a few of the gear changes I have in store. Um, I am horribly unorganized as you can see with this wonderful gear explosion here but I will try and do the best I can. It's just unorganized not me so anyway um for those of you who saw my initial gear uh video that i did uh for 20 what was it 2022 i guess anyway i was the first to start then and then um if you guys remember i broke my arm really bad and um that threw me off the trail so um, most of my gear has remained the same, um, at least the core items, the big three, but I do have a lot of little things that I have switched over, which I kind of, um, you know, got schooled a little bit when I was on the Foothills Trail and uh, started trying to change things up. Now, there are things I'm probably going to want to change up in the future, but, you know, my budget gear is pretty much... Uh, shot right now so uh this stuff works fine it, it, it's I, i'm not having any problems with it you know and uh this is what's going to start me out on the trail and then we'll go from there one day at a time right okay so if you want to go back and hold on. cat hair everywhere so if you want to go back and take a look at my initial video i'm going to put the link down in the description so you can take a look at that. Um, I think what I'm going to start with is my sleep system. Um, I don't really have a lot of changes with that. I'm still doing the Smart Wool 250 base layer. Um, I do have a pair of sleep socks and I have another pair of hiking socks. I am carrying three pairs, well, one worn, two in the pack. Um, I have my uh, liner also. I think the only thing that has changed with that is my pillow. This is a Trekology pillow. It's inflatable and it has a strap to go on the pad, which I find is awesome because it's not kind of constantly like squirting all over the tent. I can't find it. So anyway, yeah, this is great and it's really lightweight and it packs down really, really small. Okay, so moving on. Um, if you remember, I had the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Southwest and uh, that is, I still, still have that pack, that pack's going with me. Um, as far as that pack goes, you know, um, I think it's an awesome pack. I have no problems with it, I think it's durable. Um, the only thing is, it is really meant for uh, people <laughs> who have really got it dialed in and are really light. I don't think, personally for me, it's very comfortable over um, say, you know, 22, 23 pounds, and then it starts, you know, and, you know, getting uncomfortable. Um, I still have some trouble with this shoulder and the straps I find tend to, you know, even with adjusting and, you know, re I have repacked it every possible way. And it's just that if it gets over a certain weight, it's just not comfortable. So not for me personally. Um, also the waist, the hip belt is, you know, I I don't have a really, really tiny waist and I have to really cinch that waist up to take the pressure off of my shoulders. And when I do that, of course, that makes it really uncomfortable in my waist. Anywho, it works. And the thing in here is to just keep the weight to a minimum. And um, I am trying to do that the best I can. As far as that goes, though, it's it's got everything I need. Um, okay. Uh, next is my yeah is that wad back there in the corner. That is my tent. That is the Big Agnes uh, Tiger Wall UL2. It's the Solution Dye Tent. Um, I love that tent. It's a great tent. Um, nothing to be said about that other than it's awesome. So same tent now. And that being said, at some point I would like to try the Dursum. Um, I just, I just want to try it. Uh, anyway, later. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go to clothes that I am wearing. I don't think that much of that has changed. 
Um, I still have the uh, Melanzana. I am going with... I still have my Smart Wool t-shirt. It's a 150. Great t-shirt. I love it and it tends to help with the, um, the stink. So I love that. Uh, I am taking some, these are just RBX shorts I got at Walmart. I am taking some shorts. They have liner built in. Um, I just like them because they're really comfortable. And, uh, you know, at some point I'll probably just wear shorts, but you know, I'm not even going to get into the summer, you know, clothes yet because that is such an unknown. It's probably just going to be these shorts. Um, I have a Smart Wool 150 tank top. That's probably going to be it. And, um, you know, the bare minimum. Anyway, right now, uh, I found these. Now, I have tried, I like leggings. Uh, I like them because they're just, for me, they're just really comfortable, stretchy, all of that. And I have tried a bunch of different types of leggings. I've tried cheap leggings, I've tried expensive le leggings, and I just haven't found what I liked until now. Okay, so these, uh, and of course, they don't make these anymore, which part of the course, if I find anything I like, they're gonna discontinue it. Anyway, these are the Smart Wool PhD um, tights. They are the bomb. They fit great. They even have a drawstring inside that you can um, tighten them up if you need to. Um, I don't. But um, anyway, these are fantastic tights. They are, I just, I love them. I can't say enough about them. So um, yeah, that's what's uh, going with me for my April start. Okay, and then the only other thing I think I have changed out is um, taking a turtle for beanie. This is mostly for sleep um, and I am going to be doing I have a little REI uh, fanny pack I'm going to take with me for uh, town trips okay and socks so I'm having problems with my left foot um, I don't get blisters on my toes but I get them on the uh, ball of my foot on the inside so I have incorporated my NGNG's underneath my darn tufts and that is helping a lot now it's not solving the problem um some of it's just you know my foot my my anatomy so there's only so much you can do with that right um but anyway uh what you know the engines you don't fix then i'll probably be wearing some tape over it um okay uh gloves i am taking smart wool blue stop stop no, I'm going to take, uh, oh God, <laughs> quit, stop barking, stop barking, so anyway, I'm going to be taking, um, no, smart, no, smart wool liner gloves, and, uh, these are great, I, I wore these on the foot of my tail, I also have these thicker shell gloves, um, that are a little bit more waterproof, but um, a little warmer. They've got fleece lining, but I'm waffling. I don't know if I'm going to take them or not because I have some wee little waterproof glovey beads. So these are my little waterproof gloves. And they're just like little, they're Z packs. Uh, little mittens. Oh wait, you're supposed to say mittens, right? <laughs> I'm so old. Anywho, yeah, I love these. Uh, so help keep those liner gloves warm. So I don't know. I I just I don't know. Sometimes you know. I guess I'll I'll figure it out. Unfortunately, <laughs> once I get out there. But I'm probably gonna leave those heavier. Um, these heavier gloves at home and just take the smart wool liners and then have these as my waterproof shell. Um, okay, next, this. I love this jacket. This is my Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer. Um, yeah, this was a total splurge. 
uh, I made payments on this forever, but I love it. It is just great, and it has saved me a couple times with sleeping. Um, so I have that. Uh, my Christmas present. Some of you guys saw this. Uh, my z packs reindeer. Um, this I had REI uh, rain pants and an REI uh, jacket, and they were so heavy. They worked great, but they were just really heavy. This is awesome. Uh, my uh, Z-Pax uh, rain jacket, and it's great. I love it. And it has, of course, the pit zips, and it has it. It folds, in, as you saw, it folds into its own little pocket, which really makes it very uh, compact. Has a little um, strap on the back of the hood so that you can strap it back, so that you can actually see, so you don't have to have a uh, um, a ball cap or anything on underneath, which I hate wearing. And I can't stand wearing. So that, and then I also this was that was a Christmas present which was a wonderful Christmas present for my husband. And uh, then I got the pants also. These uh, are so lightweight. They're great insulating layer. I actually slept in these one night on the Foothills Trail. They kept me warm because I was just, I was so cold. It got so cold that night and I just couldn't get warm. So these really saved me and honestly, I know a lot of people, you know, send their uh, rain pants home and stuff, but I may keep mine to put over my shorts just in case when, it, you know, if I get up, if I make it up north and all that, um, just to have a little extra insula insulation. Okay, so clothing, I think that's all. Let's move on to electronics. Okay. So I am taking this little UltraPod. This is a Manfrotto UltraPod for my camera. Um, it is pretty light and it's got a little Velcro strap and it's got the little you know legs that come out. So yeah, I do plan on doing more video. Um, I want my uh, you know I'm really excited to to share with everybody and to share with my family and friends. And so I'm taking this. Um, this is a new acquisition. This was also a Christmas present. This, uh, and yeah, this is heavy. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? It, it is heavy. I've heard that carrying two 10,000s is actually better than carrying the one. It's actually lighter than carrying the one 20,000. But I got this as a Christmas present, and it is going with me. So, um, yeah, this is Night Core, and it's the 20,000. Uh, it's awesome. Lasts a long time. Um, I have a little, this is new, got a little light for my tent, and this one's a lot less bulky, um, stays charged forever, and very light, and let's see, got the red, got different colors, green, blue, and the white, and it just, you can just hang it from your tent like that and it doesn't look very bright you know in here but yeah it actually is quite bright okay um i have a new headlamp um this is a little bit lighter than i had another night core and um, this is the nu25 ultralight um, it has 400 lumens. It's got the red light and everything, and it is uh, perfectly bright. It's awesome. So I am excited to use this on trail. I got. I am taking this little uh, FlexTail air pump. It is, yeah, probably kind of a luxury item, but it is great. Um, I actually like it more for taking the air out of my air pad versus uh, pumping it up because it helps me get all the air out of my air pad making it easier to fold up and put in my pack so I would show you but oh, it's still doing pretty good 
it needs to be charged, but you can hear it's still really powerful. Um, that okay, yes, I'm taking that. Uh, hubby got this for me, it's a little um USB storage for uh, it's a Samsung, and uh, it's you know a little heavy, but it has got uh, I don't know exactly the this unfortunately not my area of expertise but it has a huge amount of storage on it uh, I could probably I would probably not need anything else but this uh, just to store things and and get them off my phone I'm you know not really good at all that stuff so I'm still kind of learning that aspect of it but this will be what I'm going to be using for now and Okay, I think that's it. Um, yeah, I still have my bear bag, little top pads. You know, I got a bear canister, and I was had all intentions of using the bear canister, but after packing it and um, trying to you know find a good way to pack it, I tried different ways and everything. It, first of all, you know, right out the gate, as everyone knows, it was very heavy. And then it's just the biggest thing that was not even that it was just the bulk it was so bulky to try and pack and it was really uh, making my pack like my pack was like way up here and it was really throwing off my balance so I've decided to go back to the bear bag and I will do that as long as I can um, if you know at some point down the road if they you know say that we have to have the bear canisters then you know I'll use the bear canister um, okay, I've only got a few other things. Uh, I am taking a Nalgene bottle. This is the lightweight version of the Nalgene, and it is, I think, 0.11 kilograms. I am not going to carry it full of water because there's plenty of water on the AT, usually. So uh, I am going to carry my one liter smart water bottle uh, with my electrolyte mix in that and that is what I'm gonna drink on during the day and as I get you know as I need it I will you know get more water and before I get to camp I'm probably gonna fill this up and then I'll use that for cooking um, coffee the whole deal so yeah I know it's you know, there's a lot of controversy about it but this has been great and when I was on the foothills trail I had that one night that was just so freaking cold uh, I put some nice you know, boiling water in it and slept with it, and it was awesome. Okay, so that. Uh, one thing I have learned to take, toe warmers. Yeah. They are um, invaluable for me. Okay, so uh, I got me a new little rock sack, which is a little cloud gear rock sack. And uh, this is awesome. I do know how to tie the knot if I am was to lose this little what they call it, dog bone. Um, I got this at Garage Phone Gear, and it's just uh, uh, it's an Apex Giant, and it's just the large dog bone. Um, makes doing PCT hang so much easier. Uh, you're just threading the you know the double cord through there, and then you're wrapping it around here, and then you can let it go up to your pack. Um, so yeah. That stays in my big bag. Um, I don't think I have anything else in there. Uh, I did get these uh, little flat pack toiletry bags. I got these also from Garage Grown Gear. Uh, I am going to put my um, my old lady <laughs> face cream with uh, that's got. Uh, uh, SPF, you know, th like 30 SPF. I'm going to put that in here and get rid of that uh, heavy tube that I've got. So, okay, only thing else is, of course, I still have my Ultras. These are uh, uh, upgraded version, but yeah, I will be taking, uh, these are the Lone Peaks. I will be starting off with these. Now, I think when I get to Mountain Crossings, um, Obviously, you know, if I get to mountain crossings, 
I am going to look at the topos because I have been um, I've been looking at those anyway, so I think I'm going to look at the topos. I think the uh, ultras, which have um, they still have the you know the wide toe base, but they also have a um, five degree drop and they have a rock plate. So I am going to take a look at those and try those on, see how they feel once I get to that point. Um, only thing else I think is my camp shoes. Uh, these are uh, made by Crocs. I picked them up off Etsy for like five bucks. Uh, they look heavy, but they're really not. Um, I do need to finish my <laughs> lighter pack and get everything away so you can, you guys can see everything. And I will I promise I will try to work on that and get that up before I leave for. The trail in April. So anyway, these are really comfortable and they're super easy to hook on to my pack. So yeah, I think that's it. I think everything else was, you know, with me on the first video and uh, that's all I got today. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. I'll, I'll try to answer what I what I can. And uh, hopefully I will see you guys out there on the trail. And I can't wait. I'm very excited and I will see you guys out there on the trail.